Okay, it's now Wednesday. Um, I worked on the bed a couple days this week already, and I forgot to do some videos. So uh, we'll see what we got. Um, my stepson was home from college, so I had him help me cut the main sheet. It is 3 sixteenths because I'm going to use this for hauling as well. Um, and before I made all these cutouts on the bed, I approximated the weight of about 260 pounds. So him and his buddy helped me get it on the truck. Um, I got the holes drilled for my lead reels. I got this boxed in, and as you can see, I drilled a little hole in the bottom because I came out here the other day, and there was three inches of water in it. And even though this is not going to be a quote-unquote dry box, it was holding water. Anyway, I got this cutout done for my back box. Got it done on the other side. I got my holes cut out for my bottles. Got my gooseneck hole cut out. I put two pieces of angle under here centered on the lines where my weld machine is going to bolt down so it's not just the 3 16 plate it's also quarter inch angle underneath and this looks kind of funky in here but i put the the eighth inch plate back here around the tire and i put expanded metal down here i just had some scrap pieces laying in the shed to kind of keep if i drop a tool in there or to keep rocks coming up hitting the bottle stuff like that um <clears throat> I uh oh yeah let's see here I got this cut out this is actually going to be I don't know if you can see that it's going to be a 23 by 24 toolbox it's not going to be a dry box this will be for uh straps maybe chains or ratchet straps stuff like that stuff that I don't mind getting wet but I don't necessarily want them out in the sun um it's going to be about three and a half inches deep I got three sides on it. The back side is going to be the back plate. And I had this piece of plate laying around. It's kind of dinged up. And I had to clean a bunch of rust off. So I primed it last night to see how it would look. But if you've got plate laying around, use it. Because it's going to save you money. So I'm going to use that even though it's ugly. It's going to be in there where I'm going to throw tools. And it's just going to get uglier. So it's kind of going to be supported by these underneath it. So it won't be dinged up that bad. Um... I got to make the back piece of the top plate. This will be closed in here. This will be open for the box. Open, closed, open. Um, I've got about four feet left of that 5x10 sheet I bought of 3 16 to do that. I crawled under the truck and welded a bunch of the framework yesterday on the underside. Added a bunch more welds on the uh, gooseneck hitch. <coughs> um... Let's see here. Still working on stuff. Anyway, about to get to work on it again today. So uh, I'll try to do a video this evening. I've been stopped. By the time I've been stopping at night, I've had my lights on out here. And it's kind of dark, so I haven't been doing videos at night. I've been trying to do them in the morning the next day. As you can see, we've been getting a lot of rain. So I got my makeshift garage set up, a.k.a. the $50 Walmart Easy Up. Because that's what you do when you're building a bed on a budget and you don't have a shop. So, anyway, stay tuned and I'll get you updated real soon. Okay, so we're back. It's the end of Thursday and I got a lot done in the last two days. Let me show you. So, I got the deck down. It is welded down. Um, I got both pieces down. Got the seam here here all the way across seamed in the middle i got this box built i don't have my latches yet so it doesn't have handles but it does have shocks on it to hold it up they don't really pick it up but they will hold it up um each shock supposed to be 18 pounds but that's 3 16 plate and it's about four square feet of it so anyway, not a dry box. It's three inches deep at the bottom rear, three and a half at the front. Drilled some holes so if water gets in, it'll run out. This is for straps, chains, stuff like that. Um, got that done. I got this lid put on here. Once again, I don't have my latches yet, but this one does come off because my lead reels are going to be bolted there. And I want to be able to take it off if I need to because I can't open it very much with the lead reels in the way. 
So that's that. Opens, closes real nice. I am putting uh, compression lids, compression latches on these boxes. I am going to put weather stripping in them, even though they're not considered dry boxes, those two. Um, sprayed some primer inside these boxes. Got this one welded up. Okay, so got that box welded up. Um, getting some flat bar tomorrow to do my fender flares. I'm going to have them sticking out about an inch. Um, still got to do the back piece. I got this receiver cut today. Um, what I did is I cut three inches out of it. This is a class five receiver that was on my truck when I bought it. Um, bolts to the frame. I'm just going to put it back in, but I cut three inches out because it's set really, really low. Um, it's set about, about down here and I want it higher. So I cut three inches out. Um, I'm going to weld it back together and put a backing plate on it and then bolt it back up. Then I'm going to do my tail section. Um, ran out of eighth inch plate that's big enough so i'm having richmond steel cut me some lids for this then i got to put the lids together put the angle in um that's about it i'll be working on it tomorrow after i run to richmond steel and uh i'll be putting the angle in the boxes for the lids to sit on and probably start working on the tail section and work on that ginormous receiver so uh Y'all stay tuned, and um, I'll have some more for you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Okay, it's uh, Christmas Eve, and yes, I'm working on my bed because I want to get it done. Um, my wife's inside still wrapping presents. Um, helped her wrap a little bit, and now I'm out here working on this. So I got a lot done since the last time I made a video, so I'll give you a quick rundown. Here we go. Um, <clears throat> I got the angle pieces welded in. To both toolboxes um i actually have my, my lids for them cut but i wanted to work on the tail section i got that all fabbed out yesterday um i've got i pulled the plastic piece out of the factory bump uh, bed so i can put this in it's for my spare tire uh, uh winch so to speak decided to put my trailer wire plug in the middle it looks different than everybody else's um, this is just clamped in as you can see um, I got the receiver welded back together I got it bolted in I still got to put two bolts in it because it had six in it when I bought the truck and I don't want to do less I got four in it right now um, but that turned out pretty good it sets about six inches behind the bed it's not far enough where I'll walk into it unless I got a hitch in it um, I decided to add this piece of angle on here and continue it out so the bed it actually overhangs the tail lights a little bit. Um, <clears throat> extends the bed about an inch and a half. Um, I bought uh, different shocks for this box because it's so darn heavy. If I can get it open. I got the latches for it too. Well, as you can see, it's really heavy. So I got different shocks for it. And these are 40 pound shocks instead of 18 pound shocks. They hold it up a lot better. And once you get it past a couple of inches, about this high, it actually starts picking it up. Um, but as you can see, the brackets are bent because they're not made for 40 pound shocks. So I'm going to have to strengthen those a little bit. But I got compression latches for those. And I'll probably have them on in the next couple days. Um, right now I'm going to pull that tail section piece off. And start working on some wiring. So, oh joy. Stay tuned. <laughs> 